Hello guys, welcome again to the learning process. Nowadays, there is lots of way to learn. Anybody can upload their video online. But most of them are not good quality content. Only few of them are good. My experience is people are getting confused by the non-informative content. Here is the second part from my personal project learning process version 4. Now I will show you the process I have taken for the 3D render. For your kind information I used Cinema 4D for build my 3D scene. And I used Octane Renderer from Autoy. So let's start with the Cinema 4D. The first thing I did here, import my illustrator file into the Cinema 4D. And then I changed it little bit. Then I copied the text layer and put it into the three individual folder. And I applied the extrude generator to all of my text. You can see here the three individual folder. One is main body, two is top slice one. This is the top slice one and top slice two. For the top slice 2, I change the position by the vertex mode. You can do it like this way. Select the object you want to change the position and go to the vertex mode. Select the path you want to change and then change the Bezier option. Now our text is ready for the next. So next is I add the base layer. This is only the shape and I extrude it with the extrude generator. Now our scene is fully ready. It's time to create material, set up your light and HDRI. I used Octane Renderer for this render. Of course, I am not going to cover Octane Render right now. But I will show you what I used in this scene to get this result. I used Octane Sky, one Octane Area Light, and in the Octane Sky, I used Grayscale Gorilla HDRI. And for the detail, I used one texture in the bump section. See the detail here. So this was my final setup in Cinema 4D. Now it's fully ready for render and I rendered it EXR file. But here is another thing. We need all the passes to composite in After Effects. So I did here for the passes. I copied the main project and named it object depth and object buffer. And I put the compositing tag each and individual object. See, this is one object, this is another object, and this is the third object. So I put compositing tag like this way, Cinema 4D, compositing, and then go to object buffer, enable the object buffer one, 
and then I put the same compositing tag and I enable the object buffer 2 and the finally for the base I enabled object buffer 3 and then I go to the render setting and I used object buffer from multipass and I named it group id 1, group id 2 and group id 3. Finally I got all the passes separately to composite in After Effects. This is the second part from this tutorial series. Please follow the next tutorial for the third part. And please let me know if you have any question. I will try to reply you as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Thank you again.